The latest office innovation is a microchip implanted in the skin and designed to replace the traditional keypad for opening doors, using the copier, even buying food in the cafeteria. To some, it's right out of 1984, but Jamie Yukas found willing workers in 2017. So you can keep an eye on me? Yes. To some, it may sound like a plot of a James Bond movie, but in River Falls, Wisconsin, Employees at a vending company are going from the assembly line to front of the pack to get microchipped. Do you think this is the future? It is the future, and we look at this as uh, uh, being responsible. Todd Westby is the owner of Three Square Market. By next week, at least 50 of his 80 employees have signed up to become bionic. Using what's called a RFID transponder in a microchip meant to make the workplace experience faster and more efficient. So when you have the chip, you're just going to hold it up here and all those same options will yes. come up? The implant, which has been FDA approved, is the size of a grain of rice and is injected under the skin between the thumb and index finger by a licensed piercer. This company is offering the chips, which cost about $300 a piece, to its employees for free. Westby says they are not GPS enabled yet. You're not going to be tracking your employees around town to see what they're up to and what they're doing. No, we will not. It's for entrance to the building, logging into computers, making purchases in our uh, break room market. Westby says even if GPS became available, he would not use it on employees. The concerns are what information am I storing on this? What information am I giving away? Am CNET editor Dan Ackerman says this technology raises red flags over privacy. Anything can really potentially be hacked, especially because most of the actual information, it's not encoded on the tiny device under your skin of your hand by itself. You can never leave it behind. You can't really turn it off. However, assembly line worker Eric White plans to be the first in line. He thinks someday the chips could save lives. Somebody who's allergic to something or has a condition, they could scan your hand and all the information is there. A promising self-service for some, a dystopian nightmare for others. Either way, the future is here. Jamie Ucas, CBS News, River Falls, Wisconsin.